Hi folks, another little oil. This is a 12 inches, 12 and a half inches by 8 inches, just a fraction under 8 inches. Really enjoying the oils again. Uh, having survived the onslaught of the zested, the uh, solvent, the brush cleaning solvent thinner. I breathed so much of it in, I didn't do myself any favours. So over the steroids, on some antibiotics now. So always, always read the label, which I failed to do. Um, and so I'm just using um, a warm walnut oil with Alkid. Uh, the Alkid, a bottle of it was given to me by Dave Dickinson. Uh, ready, ready mixed, it's beautiful stuff. But I've mixed it with some more cheap walnut oil from a local supermarket, it seems to do the same. So if I get fed up with painting it, painting with it, I can always kind of cook with it. Right, so I've no idea what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make up a sky and hope you enjoy the process and working along with it if you're thinking of taking up oil. So I'm using alizarin crimson at this time instead of the, well, I might even use cad red, but. So ultramarine, alizarin crimson, I primed this board with um, some some PVA glue, dilute, mixed with some filler. Like a, so you can see how absorbent that is. Shouldn't be that absorbent. It will go in. Uh, be, it should be waterproof. Oh, let's just have some fun with the paint. We work away and then you get some ideas. I want a low horizon, that's for sure. Because I love my skies. And I suppose if you look long enough, you'll see one like it. Eventually. And you get it nice and dark. That horizon. Plenty of scope for counter change. further with that horizon. Just a three colour improvisation, impressionist piece of work. Build the washes up as we go to the impasse. So start with thin, thin work to thick. Oh, look, we've got some nice stuff there. Let's... Okay, keep going. So that would be where the horizon is going to go and we can work into that now. Let's put in a bit of um, bit of landscape, a bit of green, vary it with the reds. So plenty of oil at this stage, blue, bit of this one. And then we go a different range of of greens using that red. These are just uh, blocking in colours, so they're not my finished by any means. Just want to get some some nice horizon on there. Oh, lovely, but that watercolour looks like this. Okay, right, same brush. I just cleaned it. I'm not using any thinner to clean the brush. I'm just cleaning it out in the in my piece of toweling here. It was my old dressing gown, I think. It was a Claridge's dressing gown. My son did an apprenticeship as a pastry chef there many years ago. And we bought the couple of dressing gowns, my wife and I. Alright, okay, so let's see what we can do with that, that sky. We want some lights now, so 
I'll mix a bit of, of uh, oil and get some As it's dry, as it will dry quite quickly, well it won't go touch dry, but it may be sufficient to carry on with it. Now let's get some, we've got a nice dark horizon, we've got more dark on that horizon I think. Some more colours in there. There's a bit of yellow in with that uh, alizarin and ultramarine. is when you're using a lot of oil is keeping the the paint pure I'm not aiming for any realism here this is a purely impressionist type of painting aka myself that I'm just seeing what I can do with the oil with with it it's the oil that makes these things luminous oh soften it's the sky I think you see how that's a uh, See how much oil I've put on there, look. It's all working its way down. Let's, let's, let's go a bit thicker now. Put in a bit of white. Sorry about the noise. So we lost and found. This gives another range of colours that the white. Okay, let's uh, go back to that white and Pale white, anyway. No alizarin, touch of alizarin, touch of cab yellow pale. That's quite quite nice. Keeping it nice and soft. Got any idea where the sun is on it, but, but I'm not that bothered. But it's the oil. You can build up your impasto as you get into it. But that is an it's an artist quality, so it's quite uh, strong. Bit of villager in there, a bit of white. Just breaking up that flat passage there. Trying to make it just more interesting. See how that's sort of blending into the Merc. So that's where we want the light on there.
Okay, that's good. So we're on that foreground now. Let's move that down a little bit. A bit of shadowy colour. So just to keep doing things till something starts to appear. Oh, let's get that nice and light along this field. Bit of red, bit of yellow, bit of green. You need your dark so, so your lights will show, obviously, but so we tend to sometimes forget that. A bit stiffer in there. Now let's put in some trees on there. So let's have them. Ah, and then we've got a mid tone there. So we, we want the yellow, we want green. We want it to show. Right, let's put a bit of dark in there, a bit of uh, alizarin and blue. The lovely thing about oil, it stays where you put it, doesn't uh, bleed into the surrounding area. What happen if I uh, put in some really dark over there on that horizon under there? No, that's not going to show. Okay, so we'll do some more lighter stuff on it to just make that horizon just darker against that yellow. We just count to change that. That light. Okay. Try to keep the uh, yellow nice and bright. So it's all centering that light, really. See a window coming on there. Just 
just a very cheap brush this is Oh, that's interesting. So we're only using three colours here. <coughs> Just want to go back and get some more light. Oh, not enough dark on that foreground. So we're going to change that a little bit. Using that purple. Okay, right now, light, light, light green, very light green. some of these darts with the lights. Build up some impasto. Another here. We all do things differently with oil. I've just watched a lovely, uh, I can't remember his name, on the, the uh, British Impressionist channel on Facebook. I know Facebook's coming in for a bit of a hammer at the moment, isn't it? Put a bit of cavity in there, just highlight. Mm. So let's see if I can. I'm still trying to get some more brilliant light on the top there. I wonder if I could do that with the red, with the cavity, with the uh, yeah. Oh, there's a bit of darks back in there now. Just overdone those a little bit.
Might as well we could do with a bit of, a bit of stipple. Uh, right now, a windmill. Uh, put it off centre. Or a church or something. Don't make a massive wish. I know it's a cliche and all that, but uh, they are great objects in the landscape. Let's just get that nice little bit of uh, separation there. Oh, yeah. uh, no, keep that brush. My nice little brush. Right, so now I'm going to get this uh, sail brush. The, uh, Oh, no, no. Okay, now we want to put some more colours in that. So
<laughs> Can't be wrong there. Let's take that out. Maybe I need a little bit of a bit of a rigor in there. Big chocolate box here, you know. Just a bit of a dark here, but dark bright. It's been impressionist, dots and dabs. Well, it's a painting there. Okay, so let's get in, let's clean the brush, put in a bit of a, a bit of that, just shine through. Definitely be back to water colour tomorrow afternoon. a little bit of that in the light. In the marshy bit. Right, I've got, I've, hmm. I want to put in some, some more dark back in there. So I'm going to have to use this uh, half inch brush I think just to do that.
<coughs> okay, now anything else? Let's see just if we can some light shining on the distance in there somewhere. <coughs> um, actually, I've got another thought about that. <coughs> oh dear, excuse me. Uh, well, that could almost be uh, be the sea, couldn't it? Soften a bit. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's it. That's a picture. Might not be a very good one, but I did it. Okay, folks, well, that's uh, a bit of jogging stuff here now. Oh, hey, yeah. Just wonder whether I could just put some more sort of colour in that. Just that peachy, orangey. Yeah, well that'll do it. We'll let that go. Mill on the marsh. Windmill on the lake. Mill on the lake. Uh, would, it, would it be a mill rather than a, than a, a water mill? I mean, if it's close to this, close to water, like the sea or something like that. Uh, I don't know if it was better as it was. Uh, well, anyway, let's we'll let that go and we'll uh, I'll sign it and we'll see what people think of it. I can just put Usher. Hmm. As you said and done. Oh, it just about shows. I'm going to have to wash that brush now. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. See you soon. Pity I haven't got a frame for it, but I could cut it down to 10 by 8 and I have a frame for that. But I won't do it today. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.